In June 2017, the most powerful jurist in America took the stage at the Cardigan Mountain School, a Tony private boarding school in Canaan, New Hampshire that costs over $70,000 a year. Chief Justice John Roberts stood before dozens of ninth grade boys, including his own son, and shared some wisdom. One important clue to living a good life, he said, is to not to try to live the good life. That may be so, but Roberts seems to have found a formula for doing both. He's worth an estimated $25 million, much more than anyone else on the Supreme Court and more than twice as much as the President of the United States. How did he get so rich? First, Roberts and his wife Jane stashed away a pile of money after years in private practice. Then, with more than $3 million by the time he was age 46, Roberts took a low-paying, still-fulfilling job as a federal judge while his wife continued to earn big bucks. He ascended to Chief Justice in 2005 and stayed in the stock market, allowing his nest egg to swell as the economy boomed. Today, John and Jane Roberts have an estimated $20 million in liquid assets, in addition to several homes and a multi-million dollar pension waiting for the Chief Justice when he retires. Born in Buffalo, New York in 1955, Roberts largely grew up in Long Beach, Indiana, an elite lakefront town on the Michigan border once populated exclusively by whites. The son of a Bethlehem Steel Company man, Roberts quickly put himself on the inside track to the heights of American society, applying to the exclusive La Lumiere School nearby with an admissions essay that explained, I want to get the best job by getting the best education. After graduating from La Lumiere, he stuck true to that same philosophy, enrolling at Harvard. He studied history and planned to become a professor, graduating in just three years near the top of his class in 1976. He had trouble finding a job teaching, though, so he took the same route a lot of smart graduates follow when they aren't sure what they want to do with their lives he went to law school, staying in Cambridge. After Harvard Law, Roberts landed two-year-long clerkships, the second with future Chief Justice William Rehnquist. He then joined the Reagan administration in 1981, serving in the Justice Department and the White House Counsel's Office until 1986. Roberts remembers those years fondly, reminiscing in a 2006 speech that the work was often mundane, but that President Reagan never let us forget that we were building a cathedral that we were part of a greater enterprise. Next, Roberts made money. He went into private practice in 1986, working in appellate law at Hogan & Hartson, a D.C. firm where he became a partner in 1987. He then returned to government during the George H. W. Bush administration to serve in the Solicitor General's office under Ken Starr, where he overlapped briefly with Brett Kavanaugh, his future colleague on the Supreme Court.